Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this quick news update video I've got a whole host of new figures that have been just revealed by Hasbro. This is all to do with the new Transformers 1 movie though. So we pretty much know the demographic already that a lot of these figures are aimed at the younger generation but it's still interesting to see and it gives us an idea and an insight of some of the characters that we perhaps now we know are officially in the movie. So I've got all these via TFW 2005. Um, there is a full list of figures here. There is a huge amount of them and as I say most of them are aimed the younger generation but there's some of them are still quite cool so we've got a bumblebee figure there which of course lights up now to be honest i'm really liking that alternate mode i think it looks great i love the idea of the translucent wheels that really goes with uh, the roof it's of course just very reminiscent of the war for cybertron original like the 2010 version of them where they had the completely uh, translucent colored wheels as well and i loved that and i really like how that looks as well and there you go you can see that you can push the button just below his chest and get it to light up so they are calling this Energon Glow Bumblebee and again I like it I think it looks great I will probably end up reviewing him on the channel because I think he's fun this guy again maybe not maybe not this is just getting into smaller figures this is Optimus or Matrix Optimus Prime this is great I'm not saying the figure's great what the actual thing is great is this is one of the Quintessons so confirmed as we thought in the movie definite as I say confirmed the correct name as you can see there is Quintesson High Commander so it looks like this is going to be one of the deluxe figures so so far now that we've seen obviously Alpha Trion and Optimus Prime um, and again I like it I like the look of it we've then got some more figures which I'm going to show you right now a basic Megatron with borderline Minicon whatever you want to call them they're of course not going to call them a Minicon you can see how I think it looks on this that Megatron will actually fire that out the correct name you'll see here on the packaging is Megatron and Decepticon whale wing so it's not wing thing or anything like that and it just say launch so you can of course put there it, it's as good as a mini con isn't it but again it's another great little gimmick that's going to get um, a whole army of new fans as i say when i was a child this is pretty much the age demographic that they, i was aimed at so 84 yeah i was five and that's when i started collecting and of course if we that's that's what they'll be looking to do exactly the same here's another optimus prime uh, this is a completely different alternate mode though, so again, much more basic than the Studio Series version. Still doesn't look too bad to be honest, but as you can see, very different to what we've seen with the Studio Series version. Just as I said, just that little bit more basic. Still got the Matrix Chamber there, which I think it looks like it's going to be playing quite a big part in the movie because they seem to be putting it in most of their figures, so that's a good sign. Um, and yeah, exactly that. It must be playing quite a big part. So there is the Optimus Prime just again a few more here it looks like we've got the return of were well, they bot shots i'm pretty sure they were and it also i think and i'm sure you'll agree now is pretty much confirming what we are all expecting to happen all we've seen so far with the footage is obviously megatron is friends with optimus we have seen a little bit of a glimpse obviously of the bad megatron as we know him but all of the figures all of the toys they seem to be optimus versus megatron so something again maybe they're giving us an insight into something that's going to happen inside the movie but there they are that's them too there you go and then what we've got this is very basic but really interesting because we've got now the confirmed presence of this character here so we've got optimus prime megatron and mirage these are very basic one step changes uh, but again they look great for what they are i'm definitely gonna have a look at these because i think mirage looks fantastic and there we've just got confirmation that he is in the movie with some of the others that we do now know so there you go i thought i'd bring this in as a separate little video there's loads more coming up over the channel with more news and transformer facts friday and there you go just wanted to show you that thanks for watching take care